Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you. This is Pratik Srivastava here and friends today I am going to talk about some awesome tricks which will really help you to solve the question in seconds. So today we are going to solve almost 5 questions and all the questions really needs formulas. But here with the help of these tricks we are going to solve it very easily without any formula in second. So let us start with the question number one and watch the video completely because I will be discussing the concept also then only you will be able to understand the tricks. Friend tricks is something it's not like some formula which I will write and you will be able to understand. So basic is definitely required. Now question number one. So many people knows for this question the formula is x plus y plus x y by 100. But friends sometimes if you have more than if we have more than two data that time this formula will not work. So if the length of a rectangle is increased by 20% and its breadth is decreased by 20% find the percentage change in area. Now so friends first it is increased by 20%. So the meaning of 20% is 20 by 100. You can also write 1 by 5. That means earlier if the length was 5 now the length will increase by 1 it will become 6. See the meaning of 20% means if earlier the length was 5 now the length will become 6 right. So 20% increment. Then the breadth is decreased by 20%. So 20% decrement. So again I will write 20 by 100. So this will be nothing but 1 by 5. Now the breadth has been decreased from 5 to see 1 decrement is there. So breadth has been decreased from 5 to 4. Yes or no? See if there is any increment then you need to increase 5 to 6. If there is any decrement then 5 to 4 it will become. Now friends 5 into 5 will be equal to what? 25 right? See wow, this I am going to multiply now and 6 into 4 will be what? 24. So basically the area see area will be what? Length into breadth. So I have multiplied this both. So 25 to it has become 24. So friends if we have to calculate the percentage then better calculate on 100 it will be easy. So I will multiply by 4 here and I will multiply by 4 here. So this will become 100 and this will become 96. So you can see so 4% so 4% decrement in area is there. So friends even you could have calculated here also. So there 1 is the difference divided by 25 into 100. So you can say 4% but I am preparing you to get all this kind of concept in mind so that whenever this comes see 25 to 23 so what is the percentage decrement multiply by 4 year and multiply by 4 year 100 and this will be nothing but 92 so it is nothing but 8 percent so convert this in 100 convert this uh, you know multi by multiplying by 4 so you can directly say sir 8 percent so when these all kind of calculations see 25 to 12.5. Now this is very difficult right. Now this is very difficult to tell what is the percentage decrement. So friends multiply by 4 year and multiply by 4 year. So this will be 100 and this will be 50. So you can see 50% decrement. So suppose if we have 25 and here you have 11. Now or we will put 31. So how much percent increment. So multiply by 4 year and multiply by 4. So 100 and this will be nothing but 124. So you can directly say sir 24% increment. So friend, these are the small small concept will definitely help you to solve the problem very easily. Now please do not use formula and use these awesome tricks. So each and every question we are going to solve using these tricks. Now moving towards question number 2. Now friends question number 2. A man buys an item at rupees 1200 Okay, so cost price is given 1200. Do not use any formula friends. Okay, just try to understand and he is selling at a loss of 20%. So loss is what? Loss is nothing but 20%. So 20 by 100. Okay, that means 1 divided by 5. So if he bought in 5 rupees, then he is having a loss of 1 rupees. He is having a loss of 1 rupees, right? Okay, cost price basically we have got from here is 5. But the actual price is nothing but cost price is nothing but 1200 rupees. They are asking what is the selling price of that item. So friends first you see 1 will be equal to what 1200 by 5 that is nothing but 240. Now they are asking what is the selling price. So friends 5 rupees is your cost price. You bought in 5 rupees and sold it at a loss of 1 rupee. So basically your selling price is nothing but 4 rupees. 
So 1 is equal to 240. So 4 will be equal to 240 into 4. That is nothing but 960. So friends, avoid this formula. So selling price will be equal to cost price into 100 plus percentage of profit divided by 100. Now friends, please remember you are not in class 6th, 7th, 8th. Okay. So now you are in graduation and you need to do many things in the mind. Sir, how can we do it more easily? My dear friends, 20% loss. So 20 by 100, that will be nothing but 1 by 5. So 5 rupees is your cost price, then loss is 1 rupees. So selling price will be 4 rupees. So 5 is equal to 1200. So 1 will be equal to 240. So 4 will be equal to 960. So option D will be the correct answer. So this is the easiest way or you can say unseen or awesome tricks to solve this kind of problems. Now friends, question number 3 we have made little bit difficult or little bit tricky because here we have mentioned 12.5 percent so friends a man buys again cost price is nothing but 1200 rupees so a man buys an item at 1200 rupees and sells it at a loss of 12.5 percent so 12.5 percent i can also write 1 by 8 this we have already discussed in the percentage so if you are buying in 8 rupees then you are at a loss of loss of what one rupees okay loss of one rupees now so friends but the actual cp if you'll see it is nothing but 1200 so 8 is equals to 1200 so 1 will be equal to what 1200 divided by 8 that is nothing but 150 they are asking then what is the selling price of that item i will include one more option that is none okay now so what is the selling price of that item so friends when you are buying in 8 rupees then you are at loss of 1 rupees okay that means you are selling at what 7 rupees so 1 is equals to 150 so 7 will be equal to 150 into 7 that will be nothing but 1050 so friends you can say option e or 1050 will be the correct answer now friends the same problem they may ask you in terms of profit okay same problem they may ask you in terms of profit a man buys an item at rupees 1200 rupees and sells it at a profit of 12.5 percent so now here profit we will see 12.5 percent again it will be nothing but 1 divided by 8 so if you are buying in 8 rupees you are selling at a profit of 1 rupees okay so what will be basically your selling price that is nothing but 9 rupees okay now now friends you see the cost price is basically 1200 rupees but here what we have got 8 so 8 is equals to 1200 so 1 will be equal to 1200 by 8 that is nothing but 150 so what they are asking selling price so 9 will be equal to so 9 will be equal to 150 into 9 so 15 into 9 will be 135 so 1350 so in case of profit the answer will be 1350 so friends now all this problem should become very much easy for you now question number four it's a very difficult problem if you do not trust me then you can try solving it okay so a person incurs a loss of 5% by selling a watch for rupees 1140 so when a person is selling the watch for 1140 the person is incurring a loss of 5% 5% is nothing but my dear friends 5 by 100 that is nothing but 1 by 20 that means the person is bought in 20 rupees as in the question they are selling telling the person is in a loss of 5% so the person is going to sell in what 19 rupees right see 1 rupees loss so the person is going to sell in 19 rupees now so selling price is 19 but actual selling price is 1140 so 1140 so 1 will be equal to what so 19 6 ja 1140 divided by 19 so it will be nothing but 60 so 1 will be equal to 60 now what they are asking at what price should the watch be sold to earn 5% profit 5% profit means friends 5 by 100 that is 1 by 20 so if you want 5% profit that means if we have bought at 20 you should sell at what you should sell at what 21 rupees 20 plus 1 21 rupees so 1 is equals to 60 so 21 will be equal to 1 2 6 0 so option C will be the correct answer. Friends, it is very, very easy. Trust me, all these problems you will be able to solve like that. 
formula you please keep it aside formula is not required at all for this kind of problem now the toughest question for the today's class so if you want you can try first and then you can solve it okay now a person sold an article at a loss of 8% okay so loss is what 8% so I can also write 8 divided by 100 I can also say 2 divided by 25 so a person sold an article at a loss of 8% so basically friends I can say so if 25 rupees the person had bought an item then he is selling at what 23 rupees 23 rupees right so 8% loss so 2 by 25 means there is a loss of there is a loss of 2 rupees clear friends now had he sold at a gain of 16% so this was nothing but loss and now had he had he sold at 16% gain so gain is nothing but my dear friends 16% so 6 by 100 6 by 100 will be nothing but equal to so 4 4 ja and 4 25 times okay this is nothing but profit so I can say if he had bought an item at 25 rupees he would have sold at what 29 rupees so 25 rupees if you would have bought then he would have sold at 29 rupees in case of 16% gain and this is in case of 8% 8% loss friends I have not done anything simply this part I have sold 8 by 100 so if buying at 25 selling at 23 rupees 2 rupees loss if buying at 25 selling at 29 rupees 16 percent gain now friends what they're telling he would have received 36 rupees more so in both the transaction if you would have sold at 16 percent gain then you would have received 36 rupees more okay now friends you see the actual difference is what the actual difference is 36 but our difference is what because we have considered 100 so we have got the difference as 6 so 6 is equals to see this is the difference we have got but actual difference is 36 so 6 is nothing but equal to 36 so 1 will be equal to 36 by 6 that is nothing but 6 so what they're asking what is the cost price of the article so cost price of the article will become what 1 is equals to 6 so 25 will be equal to 150 so this is the end of this so this is the end of this problem okay my end of this awesome tricks and friends i am very much damn sure that this video will definitely help you a lot to solve the problem of percentage profit and loss and wherever you find percentage in your question this is going to make your problems very very easy formula free method and friends i wanted to tell you so we are now 40000 subscribers okay so online study for you now has 40,000 family members so you all are our family members and friends that is the reason we are celebrating the day today and friends so get our materials and your placement exams will definitely happen this year so the date and the month I cannot say with 100% guarantee but definitely the exams is going to happen so friends prepare yourself so go to the website www dot online study for you dot in and their premium materials will be there so their premium materials will be there so click over there and get the materials today and start your preparation friends so we are always adding more and more videos even if you have bought also many people uh, already have bought and then we have added some videos and that videos we are updating them for free okay so thank you friends for watching the video if you really like then please subscribe our channel and comment below and share it with your friends thank you friends